You can add interactivity to your presentations very easily by using either an action or a hyperlink. Here you can see we have a couple of drawings on here, one called action and one called hyperlink. Now you can use these as buttons, you can use drawings, clip art, photographs, almost anything that you can select can have an action or a hyperlink attached to it. So what does an action do? Let's show you first of all, if you select the object you want the action applied to, we can then go to the insert ribbon and you should see there's a button on here called action. If we open this up, you'll notice that under the banner of mouse click, in other words, what do we want to happen when somebody clicks this object? At the moment, it's set to none. But if you have a look here, you can ask it to hyperlink to, and if we drop this down, you can see all the options you have. Next slide, previous slide, first, last, last viewed, end the show, view a custom show. You can specify a particular slide you want to jump to. You can even link to a URL, uh, Google, Amazon, or your own company website. You can also link to a slide in another PowerPoint presentation. You can even uh, link an action to open an Excel document or a Word report. If we said slide here, it then comes up and asks us which slide do we want to link to when we click this action button. Now let's say that we want it to go to the main title slide, Company Open Day. Click OK. There's other options in here. You can cause it to run a program. You can run a macro. You can even have it do an object action. These are very specialised. You can also have it play a sound. So when you click the button it makes a click sound or some other sound effect. We click OK. Now all actions will only work when the presentation is run. We can add a hyperlink. Now if we select the object we want people to click on we can then look at the top here next to the action is a link or hyperlink and you can actually ask it to insert a link now if you're familiar with attaching hyperlinks then you'll be familiar with this dialog box because you can ask it to link to an existing file or a web page a place in this document you can even link it to an email address and so there's all of the options that you have we may want to link it to, for example, an existing file. We can browse for the item we want. For example, an Excel document. Click away. Remember, both of these will only work when you are running the slideshow. So if we shift F5 to run, if I click on the action, can you see what happens when I hover over action? I get the little finger mark to show that it's a hyperlink. Click on there and it takes me to the slide that I asked it to take me to. The hyperlink, if I move over this and click, it will now open up that particular document in Excel. And when I close Excel, I'm back to my presentation. So it doesn't stop the presentation from running. To quit out of your presentation, hit the escape key. And that's action and hyperlink.